I now have the impossible task of chairing this section. Okay, so out to the audience, I'll take as many of you as you can, and I will prioritize the schools that have been involved in the competition, as I indicated earlier. Okay, so can I have the microphone um, down to the front, please, to the front row, um, here in the front row, straight in front of me, and I'll move along, yeah? So this young lady in the front here. My question is to the Choksi team. Uh, you, oh yeah, I'm Ratna from the Singhania School from Bombay. Uh, my question is that you said about how US could actually be funding our development projects in India. Don't you think we're letting them interfere with us? I mean, don't you think we are letting them funding us, but wouldn't that lead to a certain degree of interference also in our economy? Okay, and the gentleman behind you, if you could just pass it behind. Stand up and name of school, please. I'm Sudarshan from St. Xavier's Collegiate School, and my question is for Don Bosco Kolilva. You mentioned about the healthy competition which we intend to have with China. Now, we should remember that China is a manufacturing economy, and because of the fact that it was actually able to produce tech, uh, uh, various uh, products of the textile industry at a cheaper rate, India's textile industry uh, had a huge setback. Moreover, the diamond industry of India is one of the largest grosses of foreign exchange. And you to and America is the largest uh, customer of India's diamond industry. So, uh, uh, due to this economic recession, uh, like Surat is practically shut, no work was carried out. So, please, you know, justify stance as in the healthy competition with China and why U.S. is not desirable. Okay. Now, two Singania, and I'll come back to you after. But the two on the end for now. Don't worry. I've seen you all. Right. My, na yeah. my name is Abhinav Deshmukh from Srimati Sulotana Devi Singhania School. A general comment to both the teams. In this highly China-centric debate, I think we have forgotten about Russia somewhere down the line. And the second thing is, when we're talking about wildlife trade and economics, how are we forgetting the fact that China has laid claim to the state of Arunachal Pradesh in India? I mean, they're actually saying that part of India is their own territory. I mean, how are we ignoring this thing? Okay, thank you. And the, the gentleman next to you, yes. Uh, I am Abhinav Gupta from Simarti Shuloshana Devi Singhania School. My question goes to Don Bosco. Basically, Don Bosco supports China, uh, but I would like to highlight the fact, they, they also highlighted the fact that China is cooperative nowadays. But I would like to highlight that China actually did not support the nuclear supplies group waiver, but after US inter intervention, China actually supported the energy waiver. China supports Pakistan's stand on 2611 attacks, and moreover, in the UN Security Council, the China China did not vote for ban on Jamaat Dawa and Lakshad e Toiba. So, what do you want to say for that? Okay, th thank you. So, boy with uh, saviors with red tie. Good afternoon. I'm Patikrit from St. Xavier's. Uh, my first question is to uh, Choksi School. Do you think we should look at America as an equal? And my question to Don Bosco is. You said that we should be collaborating with countries which are similar to us. What are the ways in which you think countries in Asia are similar to us? And name them, please. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Moving, moving. Um, sorry, just behind you. So I'm, I'll take just one from from Don Bosco for now. I'll come back. One from Don Bosco, and I'll come back to you. I haven't forgotten you. And then we'll go a couple from St. Marks, and I'll get through. I'm yeah. Promit from Don Bosco School, Lilua. My question goes to SM Choksi School. You meant to say that China are our competitors, basically. But I'd like to put forward one fact that America has ever, s in the recent past, America has been uh, extending to India numerous deals and pacts, and thus using India to combat the growing power of China. Don't you think when we restrict our relationships with America and deals and pacts like this, we are going to become, we are t uh, tending to go more closer to China? Thank you. Thank you. And then behind uh, St. Mark's, um, I'll have a, a, a boy and a girl, don't care which. Fight over it. Quick. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my question is to... Uh, I'm Sa Siddharth from St. Mark's. My question is to Choksi High School from Pune. You're talking about the main issue concerning India uh, right now is security. And then you're giving US benefits as military, military cooperation and the nuclear agreement. Are we preparing for war right now? And concerning security, most of the Z security is given to politicians like Amar Singh, who basically don't require it at this moment. So couldn't we focus on more important issues like economic development, poverty alleviation, etc.? 
Okay, so the row behind, who I know um, didn't get taken earlier. So row behind, I will come back, St. Mark's. Yes. Uh, I'm Sunana from Lady Anda. First, thank you for finally giving us a chance to speak. Uh, my question is to SM Choksi. Um, US is a single country. Asia is a continent with 47 countries and 60% of the world's population. US is a country with 5% of the world's population. Doesn't that speak volumes? And I just want to reflect on a few statements that you made. You said we have cultural uh, values like democracy in common. Did you know that uh, India is against the war in Iraq, against the war in Afghanistan, and the US hasn't even voiced its uh, complete favor of um, India in the UN Security Council? Um, the diaspora issue that you brought about, um, it's, it has nothing to do with US, it's just that wherever there's prosperity, today there's prosperity in the USA. Currently, unemployment rate in the USA is 7.2%. The national debt of US is over $10 trillion, which means that every person in the US has to pay at least $35,000 to, What's the you know, f equalize the debt. You also said something about revenues of the, um, yeah, you said it, US affects the entire world. You said uh, elections in the US are going to affect the entire world and everyone wants to know what's happening. So isn't that, like, why we're centralizing power in one country? Shouldn't that be the motive of a multilateral whole world where everyone has their own voices and opinions? Okay, thank you, Lady Andal. Made, making, up for, making up for being deprived earlier. Uh, one more from Lady Andal for now, but not as long as that one. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, I'm Jansi from Lady Andal, and um, this team said that the US will play a very important role in helping a war against terror. But then, first of all, we need to understand that um, the origin of interest of the US in the war against terror lies in Afghanistan, whereas ours is quite different. We, our major terror threats are either inside the country or from Pakistan. And we should also understand that the US tries to maintain very diplomatic uh, relationship with Pakistan because it depends on the Pakistan to fight the Taliban in the Northwest Frontier Province. Therefore, it doesn't want the troops of Pakistan to move towards the eastern side because that will enable the Taliban to enter into Pakistan. And I mean, that is what they're threatening to do. And so... Okay, that's it now. Okay, wait. Oh, no, no. One quick. more thing, one more thing, quick. one more thing. Yeah. And um, uh, another thing that we need to know is that despite the Security Council being against the war on Iraq, uh, the, the US just went forward and continued what it wanted to. So right now in the world, the UN okay, is the US the and the it's time okay. that right. we get rid of this global Okay, bully. take the microphone off that so one. What's the question? <laughs> <laughs> what's the question uh, exactly? Shh. Just Listen, they're not asking questions. They're making intelligent points. Shh. Don't start <laughs> telling them what the question is. It's not that formal. Just listen to her and respond as you would want. Right. One from Noida only, please. And uh, that... The young woman in the middle. We'll come back to you. You've spoken all the way through. Don't panic. Right. Uh, now, then, I'm going to take one from one of our guests. I then want you to, obviously, don't even remotely try and answer all these. Intelligently, say something good in sort of about 40 seconds each. Right, yeah. Uh, I have a question each for Don Bosco and Choksi. For Don Bosco, the terror attack in Mumbai was successful partly because of the poor coordination of the Indian intelligence, okay? And it is only because of the USA putting pressure on Pakistan that they're accepting the evidence that we've provided against Kassab. Now, don't you think that if we build a strong relationship with the US, it will not only help combat terrorism effectively as we'll have the US intelligence on our side, which is undoubtedly the best in the world. And you are, please? And oh, sorry, I'm Richa from DPS Noida. Uh, and the question for Choksi. Very quick now. Yeah. Um, we, we know how the US convinced uh, developing countries to accept uh, loans at, as it had done in uh, Java, Indonesia, and Ecuador. And once these countries are saddled with these loans, the American government does want access to, let's say, uh, their natural resources or military cooperation. How do you see India? in this perspective with the US. Thank okay, you. one of our guests on that row there, I don't, just one of the girls there in the back row. Yes, one of you, I don't, I don't, one of you just take the mic, whoever grabs it first, right. I'm Kavani of Jaspalgar Public School, and my question is for the f team for the against the motion. Growth rates in emerging Asian countries have traditionally tended to slow whenever US economy slows. But this time, India and China have not experienced too much decline. So do you think India is still dependent?